On today's story, we're talking about how Idaho Fish and Game Commission has now approved the revised draft of their 2023 to 2028 Gray Wolf Management Plan, where they realize that they are going to have to reduce the population of the gray wolves in Idaho by 700 wolves. They're going to have to kill off 700 wolves out of this population to really get it into a management place where they want the numbers to be. The objective of the plan, as I said, is to reduce it to 500 animals. They currently have 1,200 wolves. The current hunting efforts have been unable to keep this population in check due to certain remoteness in areas such as the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness, which encompasses 2.3 million acres. So obviously hunting pressure is low and success rate is limited. According to the research, even if humans killed 29% of the wolf population in a year, the population won't decrease significantly. And in some cases, population could remain stable in the face of up to 45% human caused mortality, which goes to show just how difficult it is for them to manage gray wolves right now. In Idaho, the challenge lies in the difficulty of controlling wolf populations through ordinary means, as human hunters only account for 11 to 28% of wolf mortality. The state bill passed in 2021 to increase wolf harvest, but it had minimal impact, with only three extra wolves taken through the expanded harvest methods. To address this challenge, the new management plan aims to manage a stable and self-sustaining wolf population of around 500 animals annually by 2028. This would require increasing annual wolf mortality to about 37% for the next six years, equivalent to approximately 513 animals next year alone. The plan outlines two main methods to achieve this. Firstly, the state plans to incentivize hunters to target wolves by reimbursing them for hunting related expenditures. Current harvest is at its maximum with the existing hunting pressure. So the aim is to attract more hunters to specific areas with high livestock conflicts or low elk populations due to wolf predation. Second, the plan is to authorize the department to use lethal means to resolve wolf livestock conflicts. This includes targeting and removal of entire packs rather than individual wolves particularly while the wolf population remains above the target goal. Due to these conflicts with livestock, it has cost the state three quarters of a million dollars in compensation to ranchers between 2014 and 2022. While Idaho approach to managing wolf population is aggressive, it is not aimed at exterminating wolves from Idaho. Although with certain animal loving groups, have spoken out and said that this plan will exterminate the wolves from Idaho. By implementing these strategies, basically Idaho is trying to find a way that they can have wolves at a manageable population level and also minimize conflicts with livestock. And to think, all of this started with the first 35 wolves that were reintroduced in 1996. It's now just 27 years later, and sadly, Idaho has become an example of how difficult managing wolves are in Western states with vast wilderness. In my opinion, I think that other states should take note of this as well as rethink their plans when it comes to reintroduction of wolves. But that's my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, shoot straight and knock something down.